Hey folks, how are you? Andy, thanks for coming through. Um, it's Christmas season. Let me introduce myself first, by the way. Delvin Adams, Backyard Cafe, if you didn't know, now you know, right? It's the Christmas season. Welcome to the YouTube channel, first of all. Welcome to all the new folks that's here. Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's where you're gonna be learning a lot of stuff about food. And not only food, Guyanese cuisine, the way we do it here in Guyana. It's Christmas season and a lot of different stuff goes on here at Christmas time. Um, and this is one of them. Look at this. Why we do the market tour, lots of folks never even seen this product right here. This is sorrel. It's called sorrel, S-O-R-R-E-L, sorrel. I don't know how you would pronounce it. That's my accent and I'm keeping my accent, right? Sorrel, now we make sorrel juice. Jamaica does it. Most of the Caribbean island does it. Once you can get it in Barbados, you have even the white sorrel too. Make cake with it. You can, uh, uh, what do you call it? You make a nice sorrel bread, um, sorrel jam. At the Backyard Cafe, we do cheesecake, a whole lot of different stuff with this product right here. This is called the spider sorrel. Look at how it looks. And these are small ones. Sometimes one takes up my, the palm of my hands. And with this sorrel right here, at Christmas time, everyone, every home in Ghana have sorrel, mabi, ginger beer as their beverage to wash down the uh, Christmas dinner with, right? Christmas dinner, lunch, whatever, what have you. You can go at, at, at uh, uh, a neighbor's house, uh, uh, boxing day after the Christmas, and you're gonna get some sorrel, mabi, or ginger beer. So today I'm doing a demonstration on how to do sorrel, easy way and how to prepare sorrel juice, right? We have some that's already prepared and I'm gonna show you how to sweeten it and everything. So here it is right here. You gotta spice it up. We're gonna do some cinnamon sticks. I have about a, uh, a gallon of water to this amount of sorrel I got here. This year, sorrel is very expensive. I have like about a thousand dollars here, which is a thousand dollars is uh, five US dollars in Ghana, equivalent to five US dollars. It's a pretty good deal, but it's expensive, but it's a pretty good deal, All right? So to start your sorrel, I have some uh, about a gallon of water heating up on this uh, stove right now. So I'm gonna add some cinnamon. For that sorrel that we have there, one stick of cinnamon. I'm gonna add some pimento seed. Some pimento seed. These are all spices you call that, right? And it gives this, this superb flavor very unique and you're getting the secret the way backyard cafe does it so you get some sorrel you want to get fresh sorrel and i know you're in some folks are in australia you're in very cold places like canada and the us right now so what you're going to be getting is um the dry sorrel i just add some clove clove a couple of cloves in there then I'm gonna chop up some ginger. Ginger takes it to another level, All right? This ginger was fairly big. This, th th that piece of ginger came off of here, right? So I'm gonna slice up some ginger. Gives it that refreshing flavor. Slice that up. Make this ginger flavor open up by cutting it nice and thin. It's gonna be very aromatic with this uh, ginger, the ginger flavor. So you're not gonna take away from the taste of the sorrel. You're not gonna overpower it with the ginger. You don't, you don't put too much of ginger, right? Enough of ginger to give it that taste, that refreshing ginger taste. Sorrel juice. Sorrel cake is delicious too. You can make a sorrel sponge cake. Oh my God, delicious. We use sorrel for our black cake too, here in Ghana. Black cake, fruit cake. 
add some ginger to that water. The water is heating up nicely, right? Now, sorrel is already washed and clean. Do the same thing with the dry sorrel. So, when this dries up or uh, gets dehydrated, listen to that sound. If the cameraman come closer, you hear that sound? Nice and crisp, right? You bite into it, you have a very tart flavor, but it's so good. You can chop this up and put it on top, dressing on top of a salad. You can puree this, get the juice from the sarin, and you can make a um, nice vinaigrette dressing too. So many different things you can do with sarin. One of the tricks with uh, uh, the, um, the champagne company came up with, add about two or three of this to a bottle of champagne, and then they sell that champagne for about three thousand, six thousand dollars, all depends on where you're at in Canada. A bottle of sorrel champagne goes for about three thousand dollars, right? So, got to give it up to the people who is coming up with new ways to um, do sorrel. So, I'm saying in the U.S. and Canada, in the very cold places that you can only get dry sorrel, if you dry this amount of sorrel, it shrinks, and then you get about this much when when it's dehydrated right you can't get away buddy you're too expensive so we add in the sorrel here to the, the water that's going to boil let that come to a boil and now after this come to a boil you have to let it sit push it down i'm gonna use my knife okay. i don't want to go away get me a spoon even though it's sitting right behind me <laughs> i want i need to catch everything on this video right here don't miss a thing all right see my cinnamon is there oh man you have to you have to have to smell this add a piece more ginger i'm getting this spice smell already what is warming up nicely look this look where the spoon is at start it up all right, so with the dry sorrel, you would have to use more for this gallon of water. So you use about three packs of that sorrel. I don't have the, the dry packet of sorrel. You, you, you watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. Use three packs of that sorrel to a gallon of water. Three or four packs is going to give you a really nice um, bucket of juice. All right, so let that sit and off to making the sorrel that you can let this sit after it comes to a boil you let this sit for overnight then you strain it off like here we have another set of sorrel that's already sat overnight and we're gonna pour this out in my juice bucket you got the sieve going this is my trusty sieve <laughs> you see my sieve got a hole over here i've been doing so many different things with this sieve all right, that's my trusty seed. I gotta get some more, but I like using my seed, man. So I'm gonna strain it off. And if you look, you see my pimento seeds are falling out there? That's pimento seed fall out right over there. You're gonna get to see traces of ginger in there. You see the rich red color in that sorrel? Get it all out in the sieve right there. And I'm still not done yet. We're still not done. Look at my cinnamon stick. All right. Sat overnight in this sorrel, soaking up all of that flavor. That Here is the, um, the ginger. Nice thin slices of ginger. So all of that flavor is in here. With clean hands. My hands is already clean. All right. You don't want to use a glove with this. It's going to slip right out. Clean hands. And you squeeze the excess of juice that's in there. Remember, my hands are clean, right?
You can use a cheesecloth too if you like. Pour this in a cheesecloth and then you wring that cheesecloth out and you get all of that juice out. But this is a homemade juice and I'm showing you how everyone is doing this homemade Christmas time. All of that flavor has to come out and get into that juice bucket. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Andy, you dribbling for this sorrel juice, boy. Mm. <laughs> yes, get all that juice out right there. Sorrel juice. Very famous at Christmas time in the Caribbean. In the end, we don't make joke with me. With me fruit juice, you know? You gotta get me fruit juice at Christmas time. Marby is a must. Ginger beer is a must. Sorrel is a must. And the next one is gonna be ginger beer. Someone from um, New York and another young lady from Atlanta asked us to do a demo on the making of sorrel. So that's what we're doing right here, right? So now, here's the remain from the sorrel. What you can do with this this is still good. You can actually make a sorrel jam with what we have here, right? This is also good compost. So now you have a nice little kitchen garden. You can throw this around your plants. Really nice compost, right? So it's a little messy, but I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you. This is really good stuff. So you can make a jam with this, get rid of your uh, pimento seeds and you just want the sorrel in there, right? And you can leave the chunks of ginger too. Add, add a bit of sugar and cook that, you have sorrel jam. Lovely for your Christmas bread. Washing the hands, getting cleaned up. Clean in the hands. Right, dry the hands. Good. Now, look how much sorrel we got from that right there. Mm, I wish you can smell this right here. I wish you can smell this. Now it's time to sweeten this. So I got about a cup and a half of sugar it's about two cups of sugar here right so we sweeten to your taste right so i'm doing it for me i don't like too much of the sugar so i'm gonna put three or four of this spoon and then i'll go again to see if it needs anything else right and i'll explain to you with the um the white sugar to the brown sugar the white sugar, really easy for baking, for doing juice and stuff like that, right? Why? Because the, uh, the brown sugar is heavy on the molasses. And if you use brown sugar on, and this is another secret that you're getting from the Backyard Cafe, this is why you're on, and this is why we're um, teaching you this, because you are special to us, right? You use the brown sugar to do a sorrel juice, what you're gonna get is that molasses flavor. It's going to take away from what the sorrel is. You're gonna get, you're gonna take away from the ginger that's in there. You're gonna take away from all the spices, the pimento and, and, and the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the cinnamon sticks and, and, and the clove, right? So you wanna use the white sugar. It's not going to take anything away. It's just gonna give you that right amount of sweetness. And that's why you use white sugar for your juice. You don't want your juice to be tasting like molasses, even though the molasses is good, it's healthy, it's perfect, but not for the juicing. You don't want to take away from your sorrel juice, right? 
you want it to stay and, and it gets even darker and with the, with the brown sugar brown sugar is the best that's why we have it here in Ghana we have all the best stuff here in Ghana right so you need to come visit us in Ghana so this is the making of sorrel juice now it's time to taste we have a gallon of sorrel juice that's already made and what I'm going to do here now taste it to make sure it has the right amount of sugar where are my wooden spoons? I'm using a wooden spoon so I can get the real taste. Oh, it's perfect. It's a perfect iced tea. For my taste, but it's good. It need a little bit more sugar. So I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar. One, two, of this, sweeten it. I'm tasting my cinnamon sticks in here, right? Look at that dark, rich color of this sorrel juice. It's the same spider sorrel we have here. We have different variety of sorrel, right? But this sorrel that you see right here that we did, this is the spider sorrel. Gonna get this rich dark and, and as you can see no coloring was added to it I'm waiting for this to come to a boil and then you're gonna see that rich dark color that the hot water gives it you can add this to your puree the um, um say you can puree it by adding it to the uh, food processor but I think it takes away a little bit more from what you can get if you boil it that is just my opinion I think going the old fashioned way, by boiling it, you get everything out of your sorrel. I could have put this in a cheesecloth and, and get more out of it. I could do a sorrel jam and, and, and still use this product, the byproduct, and still get a sorrel jam right through to the end and you get no waste, right? But quick demo that I'm showing you. Man, this is perfect bro perfect so to garnish my sorrow I'm gonna finish off with some ginger again slice up some ginger in a nice angle I'm still getting my sorrow taste it's strong real nice so here it is if you like ginger Put as much ginger you like, right? But for me, if it's sorrel juice, we want sorrel juice. I don't want ginger juice. That's something totally different. I just need the flavor of the ginger in there. And then what I'm going to do here now is follow up with my pimento seeds, add some pimento seeds. And the pimento seeds can stay as long as possible in this juice. Now we add this to it. My sorrel juice is done, and this can sit in your refrigerator for about a week, two weeks in your refrigerator. Once you keep it covered and tight, this is not lasting, lasting for two weeks. This is tonight, and this is done. <laughs> we have a big party coming over tonight, and this sorrel juice is done. So we got this sorrel juice tonight, and then we got sorrel juice tomorrow. That's how fast it goes instantly like that and that is how easy to do a sorrel drink right so you saw sorrel some of you seen it for the first time you know what it is it, it's a hibiscus flower it's the bud from the hibiscus from one of the hibiscus because as you know okra is also a hibiscus right this you can make as a tea also you boil this up and it's hot it's already a tea so sorrel tea then you got the sorrel juice, you got sorrel jam, sorrel cheesecake, which the Backyard Cafe does, Sweet Fix Cake Tea, make sure you check that out too, right? All the byproduct from sorrel, done right here. So folks, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. In the comment section, tell us what else you would like for us to do, and um, you get to see the video, and we're going to give you a shout out. 
these are two young ladies. One is from New York City. One is from Atlanta. Thank you ladies for checking in with the Backyard Cafe. And here you have it, sorrel juice, easy to make, done by yours truly, Delvin Adams from the Backyard Cafe. See you when I see you the next time. Peace and love, like, share and subscribe. Thank you folks.